Do you guys love the look of corrugated metal? Love using it in your thrift flips, but get cut and it's hard to work with? Well, I have a solution for you. Roy Cycles decoupage paper called corrugated metal. It is totally lifelike. Uh, you would think that you have corrugated metal on your project. So stick around and I am gonna show you how I transform uh, one of my barn stars to make it look like it's corrugated metal. To complete today's project, you'll need a scrap piece of wood that is four by four, eight little chunks of wood cut to nine inches, and then you will want to cut that angle, a paintbrush, white paint, I'm using White Swan by DIY, and you'll want a piece of Roy Cycle decoupage paper. And let me tell you, this looks like the real deal. When I saw this, I knew right away exactly what I wanted to do with this. I was going to make some signs and then I was going to make one of my barn stars. Check this out. Does this not look like an old roof on a barn? I am absolutely in love. Step one, break out your white paint and paint the eight boards white on one side. I do recommend applying two even coats of white paint. Here I am using DIY's White Swan, let it dry very thoroughly, and then it's ready for the decoupage paper. I have heard in the past others say that you don't need to have white underneath your paper. That is true, you can use whatever you want, but when you use white, it really pops. For our next step, I want to paint each of the eight pieces a gray. I'm using letterpress gray from DIY and I thought it actually was the perfect color to match that corrugated metal decoupage paper. I'm being very careful and I'm going in and painting each of the sides and then on the back side. I only am doing one even coat. The DIY paint is heavily pigmented so with the darker colors the cover is amazing. Now that the paint is all dry on both sides, I am laying out the star. I want to make sure that all the pieces fit perfectly and line up. And as you can see, it's looking great. I did take that 4x4 board. I painted the back side because that's the side you're going to see. I'm taking the corrugated paper. I'm opening it up and the pattern is going to be down so we're working on the back side of the paper we are also working on the back side of the wood you want to line it all up so just however you had it laid out you're going to move it over onto the paper and now we're going to take a pencil and we are going to trace each of these out on the paper but this is where you're going to want to take note. You will want to leave a slight overhang around the entire piece. So probably like a quarter of an inch around each of these. So I'm taking my pencil and I'm just drawing, uh, just trying to rough, do it rough. It does not have to be perfect because in the end, we're going to use some sandpaper and make everything beautiful. Now that I have it all laid out, I like I said, I'm taking that pencil and I am just drawing right down the center of each and just like, like I said, a little bit of an overhang. From there, I'm just taking a scissors and I am going to cut each of the chunks out. But this is another thing. I, once I got done marking these all out with the pencil, I took them and I moved them over to the right and I made sure that it was in the exact same order because each of these that we marked out is for that specific piece. So I cut out this first chunk and then I grab that piece and I line it up and I lay it out. So that was meant for that board. And each board is cut the same, but they are a little different based on how we laid them all out. So. Trust me, in the end, I have done this before 
and uh, if it, we don't line it up just perfect, you're gonna run into some issues. Now that I have it all cut out, I have a bunch of scrap pieces left. Never, I'm telling you, never throw away your scraps. There are always future projects, so I always put them together and then put them back in the bag that I got the paper in. Now for the fun part, we get to decoupage. So one thing I do recommend is just make sure all the pieces are lined up like so. I kind of tuck away the ones that I'm not working on and I break out liquid patina from DIY and this is by far one of my favorite decoupage mediums for the recycled paper. I pull it back, the paper, and I start do what's called a starter strip of liquid patina. So I'm just going to apply a really nice even layer, so not too thick, but not too thin, back and forth and just make sure it's just nice and even and then I lay down the paper and then I take my brush and I just work out any of the wrinkles and they come right out and then I pull a paper back and I just start doing working down and just keep applying uh, a little bit more liquid patina and then again just smoothing out the paper until it's completely laid down. This has been the best trick that I have learned working in sections. I have heard so often that people will apply the whole you know the decoupage medium down and then just lay down the paper and you'll get a ton of wrinkles. You'll try to pull it up. If you work in sections it almost eliminates all those wrinkles. Here we are at this point. I have completely decoupaged all eight pieces and already you guys, I'm loving it. But you see that little overhang? We are gonna take care of that in the next step. Typically I have a sanding block, which makes it super easy to get rid of this excess paper, but I didn't have any of those, so I just grabbed a round piece of sandpaper, so any sandpaper will work. And the key here is you want to work in a downward motion, so a, uh, downwards from where the paper is and just keep swiping down and it comes right off and you get a real nice crisp clean edge and I did that on all eight pieces and then after that I resealed them with the liquid patina. Here is a sneak peek before we do the final step. I am absolutely loving how these are turning out. It really does look like corrugated metal on each of these pieces. For our final step, what we're gonna do is we are flipping this entire piece over and we are gonna take that four by four section and we are gonna put that in the center and that is what's going to hold this entire star together. We are using a brad nailer and I am using one and a quarter inch brad nails in there and I typically put four brad nails in each of the uh, eight sections just to really have it nice and sturdy. If you were wondering what I was doing by moving each of those pieces around, I try to make the center as tight as possible and sometimes you just have to move each of the pieces a little bit to make it absolutely perfect. I put a lot of pressure on that four x four with my hand as I'm placing one brad nail in each of the sections, then I go back and I add more. Here is the finished project and I am absolutely loving it. I'm so excited that I am able to have a barn star now that has the look of corrugated metal and I did it with paper. I hope you all got some great inspiration from today's video and go out and try to make one of your own.